We're going to wire a selection of different foliages. First of all, ming fern, asparagus umbilatus. Making small bunches, cut the stem to one centimetre. And this plant material is on a light gauge wire, a 32, wired on a single leg mount. One third, two thirds and three times around. Ruscus, the French ruscus. Dependent on the size, you can either cut smaller pieces or you can cut larger pieces. The small pieces, again, due to weight, will be on a, a, a 32 wire on a single leg mount. But a larger piece will go up a gauge to sort of like a 46 on a single leg mount. We've got leather leaves, arachnoids adiantiformis. Small elements, we can either cut small elements or larger elements. And again, using the 32 on a single leg mount. Next we are going to use camellia leaves. You might be able to cut these if you're lucky enough to have them in your garden. And these are wired the same as an ivy leaf. So we use the underside using ivy reel wire. Cutting roughly about uh, 30 centimetres or 12 inches, depending on which metric you use. And we're using the back spine with the wire, one third down, two thirds up. We're gonna just pierce and make a tiny stitch. Bring both wires down and you need to pinch the stitch. Then the base and wrap three times around. So when we turn this over, you will only see one tiny stitch on the right side of the leaf. We'll go over that again. So one third down, two thirds up, tiny stitch through that middle vein. Hold, hold the stitch close together so you can get both of your wires next to your stem and then three times round. All this foliage is now ready for taping. Squeeze and pull. and pull, making sure that the tip of the wire, there's no exposed wires at the top, it's nice and neat and thin and lightweight. Ruscus. And finally, the asparagus. We have four different textures of foliages there ready for wired designs.